Hey guys, how's it going? It's Wally, and welcome to another React video. This time around, we're gonna change things up again a little bit, and we're gonna be watching a video called Announcers Calling Plays Before They Happen. So I'm actually a big sports person. You know, I do all the fantasy sports and all that. I played baseball in college. So uh, sports are really a, a big thing in my life. So I really wanted to do something that, you know, kind of calls back to those roots, I guess, so to speak. Um, so kind of want to watch this. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's start watching. Deion Sanders is lined up behind Michael Irvin on offense. And he'll probably be a decoy. They'll probably fake a reverse to him and throw a screen. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. If you put him in the game, you're definitely you definitely running a screen with him. Smith or pitch the click final game of the series. Who's yours? Well, I think clearly it's going to be Tui Asasopo today. He swung the bat well the last few times. Yeah, here's my sport. To play. I expect him to hit his first big league home run today. He's going to get a good count today. He's going to get a fastball from Talent, and he's going to hit it out of left center field, probably oh maybe in the second deck. Okay. All I right. mean, I'm two O is a good count for sure. Tui Asasopo's first home run of his career coming up, according to Mike Flowers. On a 3-1 yeah. count. On a 3-1 count. A breaking yeah. ball, fastball. It'll, fast, be, it'll, it'll be a, a fast, It'll be a fastball. He's a fastball one. pitcher. Three one count. Second at bat. Uh, I mean, it makes back, sense. Three one count really is second, a fastball second count. Deck, second deck. How many yeah. rows back? Uh, that two, I can't. I, I can't think. People get their hands in the way, so you never know. <laughs> yeah, it's a little too much. <laughs> and the left hand is two one pitch, and that's inside ball three. <laughs> three balls. I've never been so excited on the Go three figure. one count in my life. I, we all know what's going to happen. I mean, it's the title of the video. It's going to be a fastball, Matt. You yeah. know that. Yeah. But still, that's just amazing. Now the left-handers. 3-1 pitch on the way. One Rot. Head Get out. It. Oh, it's a left field. He just missed the second deck. Fly, fly, fly away. I don't believe it. I see. I, okay, I don't know if that's really considered the second deck. If that really is, that's a little... It's a bit of a stretch, but still, that's amazing to kind of call that with, you know, oh, a 3-1 fastball is going to hit his first big league home run, and he hits it there. I mean, and he rocked that, too. I mean, it didn't go as far as, I guess, I was thinking it would go off the bat, but still, that's incredible. I believe you, Mike. Unbelievable. It is two to Mariners. He missed the second deck by just... A little bit. It's a shame I didn't really see him in a game after this. Has made the prediction come true. Oh, back when Beltre was on the Mariners. On a 3 1 count, I have never in my life seen <laughs> such a prediction. That was a beautiful true. swing, Mike though. Flowers, you are unbelievable. Matt Tuya. Not Ken Griffey, beautiful, but. League home run, a 2 0 Mariner lead. Would you believe it? <laughs> this is where the quarterback's going to roll right and oh, launch boy. the ball out of bounds. I remember this game. Weird. Rolling right, launching out of bounds, and Tony stealing the signals once again. Like a right. three-run home run, but <laughs> oh. I always cracked me up that his name was Milton Bradley. Because, I mean, that was when I was younger and I found stuff like that hilarious. But he was actually a pretty good ball player. Just had a temper on him. I remember that was the best part about watching a play. It's like, hey, is he going to get ejected this game? More often than not, yeah. Fantastic career, my man. Milton Bradley goes deep. Yeah, likely it is. And I find Reggie Wayne. It seems to be his day. Of course. All out blitz coming to get luck. He gets it away. And it's Wayne for a first down. Of course. Reggie Wayne was really such a great receiver. Go to Reggie Wayne. I don't know 
if that's the way you draw it up. Yeah, that's a real bold prediction going to Reggie. I'm sorry, it's, it's, a, it's a shame that uh, Andrew Luck ended up retiring. I mean, I totally get it. I support his decision. I, I really don't blame him because it, it's, a, it's a dangerous sport. It takes a real big toll on your body. It's kind of, kind of why I went with baseball. It, it takes a toll on your body too, but at least you're not getting hit like every other play. But um, but it's a shame. He was a really great quarterback. Reggie Wayne was a great receiver. The, the, the Colts would be... I mean, though Reggie Wayne would probably be out of the league at this point anyways... But uh, Andrew Luck on the on the Colts, they would still be a really great team. So it's a shame, but I get it. Look at the strength of Reggie Wayne fighting up through that off against Charles. Richard Mendenhall. I'm sorry, I'm seeing the name come strength. names come down at the bottom of the screen. I'm like, oh, I remember those days. A young quarterback out of Stanford. Well, maybe an onside kick. Trent Richardson. They don't go fourth down. Let's find Reggie Wayne again. Of course. And back when Gray Rice was in the league. For this combination of luck and Wayne. Do it right now. Again, Reggie Wayne to the top. We're going to continue to point out where is he at. There he is. And he got to the end zone. Yeah, you bet he did. Does the ball cross the plane? Yep. Right there. I'm making a call, Paul, right here. This is it. I got Long a call. Go. Okay. We'll see how it plays out. What oh. I tell you? Wow. Wow. Oh, just to sound off the bat. <laughs> is that unbelievable? That was amazing. You can't leave that like now you're belt high, in though. Agent corner Holton Hill. Come if on. I'm Sam Darnold, I got a big giant red X. Sorry, I was a pitcher, so I, you know, I look back at things like that, and, you know, I got to rewind. I want to hear this prediction here in this game. In corner, Holton Hill. And if I'm Sam Darnold, I got a big giant red X, and that's the guy I'm going after. Second down and ten, and that one is thrown too high, and it's intercepted. And look who they went after. Yeah. The guy you said they ought to be picking on. It'd be a great time for his first career grand yeah. slam. Uh-oh. Deep to Oof. left. Oh, that little bad there flip at the end. I love it. There it goes! Sterling! And look at all those fans, too. They love baseball in Cincinnati. Marte! It's a grand slam to left! And the Pirates have come all the way back! I think he's playing on Arizona now. Six to five. My goodness gracious. He's on my fantasy Joe team. I should know that. Killing it usually means a motion and a run out wide to the right. Everyone knows that. Come on, the the Patriots back then were so predictable. They're gonna run this ball. Kansas City's got to sell out. There's a hand off to Burkhead. Burkhead pulls ahead and scores the touchdown. They had like three or four different running backs. Like you, you knew what was gonna happen each time one of them came out. Edelman again with a third down catch. Play action earlier. I can't see it here. This has to be a run. Second and goal. To Burkhead. Burkhead to the end. Look, look, here, here's what I'll say, because I, I don't want to make it seem like I'm, you know, talking down on the Patriots, because, I mean, I'm not a big Patriots fan, don't get me wrong, but I respect what they did. I mean, they're a great team. I mean, Tom Brady really is a good quarterback, a, a great quarterback. Belichick was a great coach and all that, so I respect what they did. I'm just not a fan, personally, but... But well, just want to say, I'm, I'm not. I'm, just for anyone who's a Patriots fan, don't, don't, don't crap on me. I'm sorry. My bad. We might get a. It is out of here. So let's listen in live on MLB. Ooh, time. to end the game too. Get out. Yeah. I'm sorry, that was good. Yeah. That's the walk on Wednesday. Yeah. Right there. Watch it. <laughs> I got five dollars. This is a run to the left. Of course. Now, is it Henry? 
stepping out. I, I'm feeling that a man's such here. a beast. Oh, God. I see you. Grand stepping slam. out on the limb. Draft king in this thing. He's going Draft deep. King. <laughs> Grand slam. <laughs> oh. No. Oh, Harold, you're a genius. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh I love it. The 30 seconds. I'm telling you. Wilson coming off the edge here and not sure whether or not Ryan Matthews is supposed to get a chip, but I'll tell you, Gaither looks lame. Did he just not, like, get the block? He just let him go? On third and ten. Poor Rivers. Rivers is going to lose the ball. And you called it. It's Marquez Wilson coming around for the... I'm sorry. That's a guy that really deserves a Super Bowl. I'm sorry. Maybe it's because I spent some time in San Diego and all that, but... Dude, Philip Rivers was really a great quarterback. And, I mean, in that class where it was him, Eli Manning, and Ben Roethlisberger and all that, like those two other guys got multiple Super Bowls. Man, I, Philip Rivers really got the shaft in that. But but still, poor guy. And I know he just uh, just retired too. So not, not that Philip Rivers would be watching that video. But, hey, great career, man. You, you deserved a lot better than what you got in San Diego. Or Los Angeles, or whatever the heck you want to call it now. And the exclamation point on this one. That's all right. I understand what it's like to have poor quality. Oh, to end the game, too. Oh. Oof. Okay, that kind of sucks for me right there because I'm a White Sox fan. So to see the Twins win and all that in a walk-off kind of sucks. And they're facing San Diego too, which was, you know, my second team because I spent some time down there. But, dude, Rosario is a great ball player too. That that ball was just cracked. Now you have to have some cool play. The problem is all the cool plays take time. So... It's Usually true. there's some sort of screen, although you've read a bunch of them now. They're going to be prepared for that, so it's a really dicey spot for Josh McDaniel. They're going to have some motion. You see Edelman sprint across, and you'll see something. They always have is this, unique. Wait, is this the, the, like, uh, the trick play where they try to throw to Brady, and he just like totally misses it? I could be wrong. Oh, oh no, it wouldn't be because this doesn't look like it's in the, uh, in the postseason. I both of them have played nine games, so I'm assuming, hey, that's still regular season. Over to Edelman. He's loading up the throw. And he's going to the end zone, and it's a touchdown. Oh, this is a the trip. Magnificent Seven are warming up in the bullpen, and we'll be with you as soon as Leonard hits into a 6 4 3. <laughs> 6 4. Three. See, now, I've, I find that to be more amazing than. Uh, like any of the other calls that have happened because there's so many things that can happen right there and especially with double plays too there's so many different double plays but to call it 6-4-3 right there incredible it's up for the fade inside the 16 here's the pass to the end zone and it is 16 he's gonna sit on moose a back when he was on kc oh and against my white Sox. oh Yes! Dial an eight. That hurts to watch. Find the fever on the call. On the hanger. Quintana. Stay hot, partner. That was a beauty. Jason Kubel's about to homer. <laughs> Gone. All right, good call. Driven deep right field. Going back, Nelson Cruz. There's the homer that Gracie just called. That was a good call, too. We've been toying around here. KB hasn't hit a home run yet since he's come off with this edge and we've hinted at it. He's calling it? Calling it. And it's I'm not a Cubs right fan. Here. I'm sorry. It's just that bat. All right. I want to skip through this, but I'll, I'll keep it going. Don't worry. It. No more hints. No more begging. No more hoping. Home run call. <laughs> call it, J.D. Go, baby. Get out of here. Opposite field, too. Not bad. To have that be your first one back from the disabled list, too. My career is over. It's a nice Mike one to have. Mike drop. JD has left the booth. Five to nothing in the eighth. Wow. 
Oh, and that's the last one, too. Darn. All right. Well, hey. That was an interesting video. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll say that. And again, me being a big sports person, I love watching stuff like that. You know, sometimes you just kind of get that intuition when you're watching a game. You're like, oh, gosh. You know, based on how everything's been going and what, you know, seems to have happened and all that, that you're like, oh, gosh, this is what's going to happen next. Um, so it's a lot of, it's a lot of fun to watch. I'm really glad I got to watch some sports stuff too. So you guys let me know down in the comments and everything what type of uh, React videos that you guys like to see. And if you guys have any uh, or recommendations for other videos you want to see me react to, please let me know. I'm always open to new suggestions and, and everything like that. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out and watching this with me and, and reacting to it with me as well. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time with another React video. Thank you.